Hi guys, Dorota Palicka International, Neil Artist and Educator here. Today we are going to do this beautiful sunset uh, with the black nail art and I hope you will learn quite a lot from this tutorial. Uh, if you do and you have tried this design, hashtag Dorota Palicka because I will be really happy to show your work as well to the other uh, subscri subscribers on this channel. But let's start doing this uh, amazing summer nail art. I have done this tip already and I show you a different ways of creating kind of sunset background. Uh, I've got some sponges here so basically you just cut the sponge and then you can use it for uh, gel polish and for this sunset we will use some yellow. You can apply it it's kind of messy because it's not a regular ombre so don't make it like to go perfect color. And then maybe some purple. And the sunsets can have like all sorts of different colors. For the sponge, I quite like either a forms or something um, to clean it so it can be a tape as well. This sponge already has some product on it and I'm just kind of dabbing it in. Don't try to create an ombre, like a perfect ombre. I want to kind of get those messy look because it is like a wee sky. Okay, the first layer is done. I can pop it into the lamp. So it's a very quick way to create some background. Just dabbing in with the sponge. If you feel you're missing some color, just add it on. And then pop it into the lamp. Now I'm going to paint some clouds. So a tiny bit of the paint on French gel. And just blend them out. Don't worry, they don't need to be perfect. They are going to be hidden after another layer. <laughs> Pop it into the lamp. And same here, maybe just like a wee small one. Usually when working on the clients, we're swapping the hands really quick, like one doing one bit, other bit. Then pick up my sponge again and add some more colors. Okay, so this way the clouds aren't as bright and white uh, because it is a sunset, so they kind of getting the color of the sky. So here I want more yellow, orange and a purple.
Okay, so we have created a background. I can swap it. And now is the time to do encapsulate some sparkle. So it will look like a sunshine is giving some sparkle. And I've got some flags. They are kind of thicker ones. Uh, I actually even don't know what brand it is. I'm so bad. I think I got it in Australia. It is... No, it's not. It's from glitterexpress.co.uk. So random iridescent glitter. Oh, I must get in the trade show then. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use a drop of the gel polish top coat let me tidy up this mess and just put a drop of this top coat there and then pick up the flakes you don't want too many of them just a tiny bit of the sparkle inside to give it a cure and then do the same on the other one so very quick design for a salon make sure you apply pretty decent amount of the top coat just so the sparkle stays on well and it's not going to be as rough Okay, we can put the sparkle back and now is the time to create another layer of the sky just so they look nice I'm applying the top coat because I have to encapsulate the glitter anyway like I want to make sure the glitter is encapsulated and let's do orange slap of the orange and a white to paint another clouds and the top coat is wet so it is going to blend so I don't have to blend anymore but they will look like they are on the another layer Pop it into the lamp. And just the same. So top coat. But here I'm going to use a different color. So purple this time. Even mixed with this orange. Why not? Okay, so we have created some sky. Like a kind of sunset look with a bit of sparkle. Pop it into the lamp. And because we've got those flakes, sometimes client might feel it rough. So what I would do before I go into the next step is just give it a light bath. Just remove the inhibition layer. I forget that I work with the gel polish top coat rather than the no wipe. So used to working with the no wipe because you don't have to clean it. Okay, so this way you will smooth out any bits and pieces of the glitter which might stick out. Clean that well. And we're going to move on into the stamping. So I quite like use uh, baby wipes. 
so my desk is clean. <laughs> And on this one I have used the tree, but I also I have free-handed some beards and a part of the tree because I was feeling like this is a little bit too small. And what we could do is we could go for the beards. Birds? Beards? I'm so rubbish at pronouncing this one. Like, I always get wrong. <laughs> and very quick. That was too slow. Okay, place them in. So I've got two of them. And then on the other part, I'm going to freehand it quickly a palm tree. So I quite like, uh, if I'm using the stamping, I do like to add my own twist to it. So I'm just using the new Perfect acrylic paint in black. And then I've got stuff which is called New Art Paint Black Concentrator. It is making your black to be black. So normally we mix the paint with the water. And with this one, you can mix it a bit with the water and with uh, this black paint concentrator so this way you get a really mm, nice thin lines so i'm mixing my paint and i'm just going to quickly paint a palm trees actually one palm tree So here is some grant. And now we are just going to add like lots of tiny, tiny wee leaves. It is actually pretty quick, I would say, to paint the palm tree. And I love this uh, black concentrator because you can get an absolutely extreme thin black lines. I don't think so I can get such as thin lines uh, using the gel polish ever. That's a decent one. Okay, so we have painted the palm tree. I just need to thicken up the bottom a little bit and the palm tree bottom is uh, kind of irregular a little bit. So just making like a wee dots-ish. I can wait for it to dry a little bit and then apply the top, top coat. And in the meantime, we can quickly buff this tip and do a different style again. Okay, so very quickly buff it. And here we can do an animal. I think it would be pretty nice. So let's check the stamping palette. And we can go yeah, for something here. So I'm just cleaning my stamper. Now the only trouble is those tip holders. That's it. 
just so I can stand. <laughs> And we go for something here. Okay, so I've got the tree, elephant and the stuff I don't need <laughs> right on the top. You can always clean it um, on the stamper straight away or you can clean it on the tip. Whichever is easier. And then going into my paint again. I'm just going to add the background on the ground because I don't like the fact that it's like um, just a line. I also think it will look nicer if it will go maybe a little bit higher. So those I feel like we're missing flying beards here as well. So I have just painted tiny tiny ones they can't be as big as the other one just because the elephant is so small so i can put this tip on the side to dry and on this one you can put the top coat and i always love it uh, how the design pops in like once the top coat is over it so just on the entire tip we can apply the top coat and you can see the sunshine sparkling like behind the palm tree so pretty fun design to create and then pop it into the lamp. And just do the same on this one. Gosh, my nails are so messy and hands are in a mess as well. And I've got so much garden stuff to do. Like uh, I have been bringing the stones and digging a new bedding border. I want to kind of revamp my garden. Actually, I do really enjoy gardening. So I've got lots of digging. And actually, my hand was pretty sore um, yesterday from digging as well. Because I had to um, dig up the grass uh, and those kind of motions. So it was constantly pressing into this place. But yeah, I managed. I hope it will look good once it's finished. Probably another good few weeks. Uh, but I do really enjoy and love gardening i might actually post some couple pictures on the community as well also let me know what else you would like to see on the community tab because uh, i've got lots of pictures and usually i put, post them in the different social medias um, but yeah i can post them here as well and this one is done and this one is done as well so i hope you have really enjoyed watching this easy i would say tutorial um, but kind of interesting because of the sparkle of the sunset. I send you glittery hugs and bye for now.